Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, end of August. Uh, pretty beat up. My body's kind of tight. So, uh, usually on Sunday, I don't like to set myself up for a bad start to the week. So, today won't be too crazy as far as what I do for strength. Um, definitely going to do some conditioning stuff and fitness. Got a couple competitions potentially coming up. I might get involved in um, but today's video I'm going to include for fun because I'm a fan not a fan of uh, actual core workouts I'll give you guys some exercises you can put together to make your stomach hurt and that, notice I'm saying make your stomach hurt not make your stomach flatter So, core. Now, one of the biggest problems I feel when people train their core, one, this has nothing to do with abs. I repeat, nothing to do with abs. Everything to do with pretty much, in my opinion, your hip flexors and your strength of your midline. Um, and it's hard to de decipher the two because we have a bad tendency to want to use our legs and our upper body too much for our midline. So to start it off in combination today, I want two big sets of sit-ups, okay? Somewhere around the 20, 25, maybe 30 range for two sets uh, before we move on, okay? So make sure you do nice and full range. Uh, but again, this is all about volume to start to create the two in our stomach to get to the next part of it. Okay. Cut. Yep. Number two. Now one of the kings of all core work is static positions. I always say that for the king of the midline work, static position is everything, right? If you watch the gymnasts, they're very tight. The core midline needs to stay nice and firm when you're doing all of the work that they do. That's why I see a lot of gymnasts are ripped out of their mind. So in this one, we're going to hold an L, okay? An extension. We want to accumulate time in this position. Okay, so we want to try to get to this two minutes plus. However long it takes you, we want to accumulate two minutes plus. Stop it. All right, number three. Okay, again, we'll be static here a little bit. In the plank, okay? We're going to go with the plank here, but I got my eye a little close to it. So uh, we're going to hit all aspects of our core, okay? Making sure our plank stabilizing the hips is number one. So if you lack hip stability, you want to focus on that first pulling out position. Now, if you think you have it, we're going to have a little bit of a twist to this one to force you to really stay tight. So take a look at it, the plank has a little bit of a twist to it, okay? Dynamic of the upper body rotation. That's how I rotate. Turn each cross, trying to minimize stability, and ensure our hips stay steady. Give it a shot. Yeah. Alright, going back to my roots a little bit. Now, for those that have ever met me before in person, I watched me where I used to work at 25 Fitness. This core exercise here is a lot more deceiving than it looks. The most important thing is making sure the small of your back on this bolster ball is right where it curves, okay? And you gotta put the opposite. So if my right arm is up, I'm trying to go for my left foot. Okay, okay small back.
Not really a set amount here. You want high volume, somewhere 15, 20, 25 reps, at least three to four rounds of work on both sides. Making sure I can go one side, you gotta do it on the other side, okay? Um, you should feel this one, this one will burn, especially in combination with the three before this one, okay? Get after it. Go. Right. Where we start is where we finish. So not only is the core responsible for this flexion, we can't forget our core is responsible for our core extension. So we're gonna end it with low back extensions, actually contracted, not static. Okay? To kind of balance out everything we just did in flexion, okay? Now we're doing the same thing, high volume, three sets, okay, just to balance up what we already done. So that's the, the core stuff for today, five good little combination of exercises we put together to really hit the midline. So if you like the videos, make sure you click subscribe, click the like button, um, expect a lot of content. If there's anything you want to see me do, leave a comment down there, what you want to see, learn in combination, I'll give you some new ideas if you need them, okay? You get it.